He's going to try and place it. He's just told us that he's, uh, he's, the, he's the main kicker. <laughs> and uh, he's going to show us his skills now. So You're not going to put it through the wing, are you? We're going to put in another chase boat here. How far is that away, do you think? How far is that chase boat? Uh, 40? 40 metres, I hope it is cold out there because I'm absolutely boiling now, but yeah, kitted up to the max. Just given the, uh, given the briefing that I will be wearing knee pads, which was a bit of a surprise at the time, I must admit. Uh, but yeah, now I'm kitted up and having seen a few of the practice videos in the uh, hospitality there, it's uh, something to be expected because it looks like a bit of a rough ride. So I've been told that there's a few uh, videos on YouTube that it's better, better that I don't watch. So uh, going into this, I'm a bit of, a, bit of an open mind, so we'll see what happens. It was awesome, it was awesome, it was uh, an eye opener really, a bit of a fly on the wall experiment of just sitting back and seeing how the boys, how they work um, during a race and things like that and it's also quite nice to have a small part of involvement in terms of where you distribute your weight and I just followed Russell really, I don't think you can go wrong if you follow the main man so I just followed him and uh, yeah thankfully we came third actually, we managed to pit Jez and the other Oracle boys on the last corner so it was great. One thing was the amount of communication, there was loads, loads of talking amongst them, lots of plays being called, things like that. Um, I did also notice as well the age, the difference in age between the two. There was four maybe older guys and then one guy who did a lot, who was younger and did a lot of the sort of the, the physical work um, and a lot of the work. He, he was blowing most of the time. The other guys were more sort of chilled out. Got a yelling and screaming. Yeah, huh? Coming from you actually. <laughs> Throw, throwing Simeon around. <laughs> guys, Simeon. Tell him to pull it bloody harder. Yeah. Harder. Harder. <laughs> Jeez, what are you doing, man? A little bit of luck at that wing mark, which was nice. Got to have a little bit go our way, eh? Yeah, that indeed. Yeah. Is, is this the young one that was running around? Or no, is this actually, one of the I believe this ones? was the one throwing the young one around, and that's Simeon over there. Simeon was uh, <laughs> Simeon was the workhorse, while these yeah. boys were the brains behind it. I don't know about the brains. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. That's how we manage our team. <laughs> now, Simeon gets a pretty long day. The, the bowman on these boats actually has got the hardest job by far. And because um, basically, a lot of the manoeuvres you can only really get one, you know, you try to keep everyone on the rail and uh, the hoisting and that, he's the guy that has to go in and do the majority of the hoist and he's so strong, so I mean, he does most of our stuff on his own and we just encourage him as much as we can. <laughs> Definitely be playing uh, a lot more attention now actually. I didn't realise it was so easily accessed because obviously it's accessible, sorry. If it's not on the television, you tend not to really watch it, but having experienced it, it's on YouTube, things like that, it's always accessible on the internet. So I'll definitely be dropping uh, the, the Oracle boys a little look and I'll definitely be spreading the word at the club as well. Yeah.